Let's dive into one of our most exciting features, My AI Social's Instant Post. There's two different ways you can get there. The first is if you click on this large button to craft a social media post here on the homepage, or you can go over to the navigation on the left-hand side, and you'll see the section that says, Write a Post which will land us here on My AI Social. Now, there's two different types of posts that we can create, personal posts or business posts. Let's start with personal posts. Here's where the magic happens. The first thing you need to do is just select Instant Post, and Lev AI is generating a post based on what you provided in your Train My AI during onboarding or if you've made any updates in the Train My AI. And over here, it's showing us a preview of what our posts will look like on all of these different social media platforms. And it's optimizing the post for each platform based on the character count and what might perform best there. So you can see it's pulled on knowledge that it knew from my onboarding. In my profile, I talked about owning a dance studio and how I really want my students to continue to learn and grow. So here it's generated a post amazingly based on just that information. And it's even gone ahead and selected an image here based on this post. It even has hashtags here related to my post. Now, if I had to come up with this post by myself, it might be a little bit difficult, but you saw just in one click how easy it could be. Now look at all of these exciting features down here. You have the ability to click on the AI feature and look, you can actually make changes. You can make it shorter and you can hit regenerate and it will start to regenerate. You can make it longer. Wow, see, look how much longer it is. You can go through each of these different options until you get something that you like. Another great feature is you can change the tone. So let's say this was a little bit too friendly. We want it to be a little bit more professional. We could select professional and regenerate. You also could go over here and select any of the other tones here. If you wanted something funny, let's see how funny it can be. See here, now it's starting to tell a story, a funny story, and it's changed the tone of the entire post. Over here is really cool because you can change the language into any language. So if you have a large business audience or you are trying to communicate with people in a different language, you can scroll through and select any one of these languages. Let's select Hindi and hit regenerate. Automatically, in just one click, you can see my entire post has been translated to Hindi. Now, you can also add special instructions. Let's go back to English. So here you could write something like no emojis and hit regenerate. Now remember, you can go up here and you can see how this is changed per platform. Now you also have the ability to change the image, which brings you into the AI image search library. Here there are many different types of images that you can search for so that you can match the perfect image to your post. So over here, you can select the orientation and then you can select the specific word and hit search. So you can find an image that works really well for your post. I'm gonna select this image and I can either add text to my image, I can even actually design something here. Dance life. I can even select the color. It's almost like creating your own little graphics here that you can create your own social media posts. You can change the font to better fit, and you can also change the location of where this is. You can even rotate the words, and you can increase the size. You can change the font weight, font style, text alignment, and the color. So let's say we like this, we can hit OK, and then we can either save to my images if we know we might wanna save it later, or we can just hit add. Let's save it to my images here, which you can also reach if you just go to my images. Here it is. Select this image, and now we can add it to our post. Let's see a few more things that we can do within the image editor. We also have the ability to upload an image and do our design and editing with an image. You just hit upload or you hit search. 
So let's edit, select this image. And now we're gone into the editor. So we can actually change the size. And then we can again add text to the image. And remember, we can also change the color here. And we can change the size. Ooh, a little bit too big. There we go. Now we can get as fancy as we want here. We're going to hit OK. And then we can again save to my images. So now we're creating an entire library of things that we like. And then you could select it and add it to your post. Again, let's change the image so we can see a few more things. If we are connected to a Teams, our Teams images will pop up here. I want to change it back to Dance Life. Now, there's one other things that we can do. So, also something exciting to know is this is a completely editable text field. Instead of thrilled, you can say absolutely, beyond, excited, and incredibly inspired. You can go and you can delete as much as you like. You can type whatever you want here to make it your own. There's a feature here called compliance checks. Many users want to know if what they're saying is okay to say. For example, if I added something that says, I made $100 million this year and you can too. We can go over to compliance check and we can see if this post is compliant or if there's going to be any challenges with what I'm claiming. And you can see here that saying that what I've written is a very high risk post. So over here, it explains exactly why it's high risk. And then it also over here creates a suggested post. So what we could do is we could accept risk and continue, or we can update to the suggested post. Let's do that. And it's automatically gone ahead and changed the post here. You can also use these toggles on the right and the left to see what it will look like on all of these different social platforms, as well as clicking them up top. Now, let's say it's time for me to post. What I'm gonna do is hit get started. And what it automatically has done is downloaded my post and it's copied this text. So you can see this is exactly what to do on this platform. Number one, you go to Facebook and create a new post. Then number two, you paste the text. And number three, you're gonna add images from your computer's downloads folder and then click post because it's also automatically downloaded your image here. So then you can hit post. Now you'll do this for each of the platforms that you'd like to create a post for. So you've gone over to Instagram, you click get started, your image is downloaded for Instagram, your caption is copied, and you can go through the steps here on exactly how to upload your post and so forth. You can go through this and do this for each of these social options. Now, let's say you wanted to create an instant post for your business. Now, instead of an instant post, if you want to have a little bit more control to start and you already know what you want to post, you can go ahead and you can select an image on my images or search and find an image. So we can create a post here and we're going to hit add. And then we can create our own custom instructions here. So all I need to do is click generate and it's going to make my post here. And you can see it's gone ahead and drafted a post based on what I said. Now it's bringing up 90s hip hop because that is what's trained in my AI as well as understanding me as a dance teacher. If you click here, you'll see there's a lot of different post types, like caption and suggested image, Mimo, make it at my own, selfie AI, caption my image, short text only post, and caption my video, and long post with suggested image. Caption and suggested image is where you can post a specific personalized caption and get a matching image for your social post. So here you can say, what do you want to post about? So here I'm saying I want to post about winning national championships. I hit generate, and here it selected an image and generated a post for us. Other cool post types is make it my own. What this allows you to do is take a screenshot of one of your favorite social media posts 
of someone else's or your own and make it your own. So all you need to do here is select your objective, maybe to inspire, select your language, and then select or upload your post, and it will make a version of that post for you. We also have Selfie AI, which is very cool because you can upload an image of yourself right now, take a selfie, upload your selfie, and you can add where caption here, or if you're not really sure, you can just leave it blank and hit generate. And again, the selfie that you just took is going to generate a post. But the cool thing is that it actually can tell what's happening in your selfie. So it identified that I was dancing in this selfie. You can also upload an image and we can generate a caption with AI here tailored specific to you. You can also create short text posts only. Let's say you wanted to post something on the social media platform X. This is a great way to do that. You can also caption a video. So what you need to do for captioning a video, again, you're gonna select your objective, you're gonna select your language, and here you're gonna describe what's happening in your video. You're gonna write a few things like video of me playing with the kids in the park. And then down here, you're gonna specify what you can want the caption to be about. So here, my video I'm describing is my hip hop dance class with the adult students, and my caption is I want it to be about signing up for classes. All you do is hit generate. In just a few seconds, you can see here a caption's been generated based on my specific requirements. You can also do a longer post as well. Again, selecting the objective, the language, and writing a little bit about what you'd like to post. Remember at the beginning when I said that there's two different ways that you can create social posts with My AI Social? There's personal posts, but there's also business posts, which can connect to your business profiles within Lev AI. Now, if you don't have a business yet, you need to make sure you go over and create a business here under Manage My AI and then select the business and product profiles. That's where you're gonna be able to create your business. I have a business here that I can select and we can create an instant post. This is my Roaring Real Estate business, which is about my business in Virginia where I'm a luxury real estate agent. Now you can do the same thing where you can hit instant post and you'll see the information that Lev AI pulls on to generate your post is specific to this business. And you can see it's actually selected an image that's specific to real estate. I also have the same features here to go in to be able to edit anything that I'd like, change something right here. I can use my AI features here to regenerate, to make it longer, to change the tone, to change the language. I can also, of course, go in and change the image and do all of these features that I have also in the personal post. Now you have a deep dive into everything that my AI social can create. Happy posting.